So, you just finished watching a Roblox Studio tutorial, like this one right here, and you are fairly certain that you followed everything that the video showed. You even went to the description of it and copied all the scripts, word by word. So, why is your thing not working? So, let's say, for example, you're here, you did everything, and then you press play and you go test it out. But then when you actually test it out, you realize that the exit button doesn't work for some reason. I wonder why not. So here is one of a few problems that people encounter when following Roblox Studio tutorials. The first thing is make sure that it's actually the same. So here you can see that the exit is a text label. But if you actually go into the actual video right here, you can see that it inserts a text button and not a text label. So make sure that it's the same thing. So what I'm just going to do is insert a text button. So just change the text label into a text into a text button. Just like that. And there you go. We have successfully transferred it into a text button. Okay, so now that we've changed that, now it should work. So let's go test it out again. And then you're back in, you open the teleports, it's a text button, but for some reason, it's still not closing. Why is that? Now I'm gonna tell you your best friend in Roblox Studio debugging is the output. So to access the output, go into the view tab, and then go right here into the output. So when you open this, this is what you'll find out. Uh, basically, it will tell you all the errors uh, in your scripts. So as you can see right here, if we click on this, it will bring us to the script. And then just make sure you read it carefully. Open frame is not a valid member of screen GUI players.goatsharpener.player.screenGUI. So when you see this, go into the explore, and then go into the players, and then just follow what it says. So it says players, so we go to players. Go sharpener, go to go sharpener. We open that player GUI, go to player GUI, and go to screen GUI. So that's over here. So under the screen GUI, as you can see, the name of this is open frame with a lowercase f. And over here, we put it, we accidentally put it as an uppercase f. So that is a very easy fix. You just change it into a lowercase f, and now it should work. But as you can see, we actually have two problems. The second one is teleport PT1 is not a valid member of workspace workspace. So you look for of workspace. So you go into workspace and you can see that we actually named it teleport part one. So if you click that in the script, we just named it teleport one. But make sure that the one you're replacing is the correct one. So here I've just written this so it's easier for you to see. Line 4, you want to replace teleport 1 with the name of your button. So if we go into the name of our button under the frame, it's called teleport 1, so that's fine. The one we want to replace is the one in the workspace, so we would just replace that to the teleport 1, so that one matches with this one. And that is basically the entire video. Uh, just know that output is your best friend, and then just read the output carefully, and then it will basically tell you what went wrong. So now if we close this and we save the changes we made in the script and then we redo it, now all the problems should be fixed and we should have a working teleport GUI now. So here we are, if I open teleports, as you can see I can now successfully close it. And if you want to check for any other problems, go into the output. If it just says uh, like the, the name and then auto recovery file was created, then there is no problems. And now we can try out the teleport. As you can see, we uh, we have teleported. Yep. So that is that's that. Uh, it works without any problems. And to double check, go into the output. No problems. So I hope this helped you fix any bugs by yourself without asking the person who made the video uh, what went wrong. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.